Hi guys, JPA here, back again with a new video, uh, prediction video again, uh, just want to say quickly before I make the prediction, I know uh, a couple of things have happened this week in terms of Rangers Football Club, uh, Lee Miller, uh, Lee Miller, <laughs> that's a blast of the past I think, uh, Lee Wallace and Kenny Miller have been uh, suspended from the club, uh, they're saying indefinitely, I'm not sure exactly what that means. I know Kenny Miller's contract runs out at the end of this summer, so he probably won't play again for us. Don't know what's going to happen with uh, with Lee Wallace, to be honest. Uh, he's meant to be the club captain, and it's just a bit of a mess just right, right now. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing now, all the things that are happening. Uh, it's just the ups and downs of uh, being a Rangers fan, I suppose. Uh, it's kind of like a fucking soap opera just now. The the things that are going on at that club is unbelievable. And we just have to kind of fucking put up with it, I suppose. Uh, honestly, don't know what to say about it. Uh, I think they've been unfairly treated, if you think of it that way. Um, similar thing happened with uh, Joey Barton last year. Uh, again, after a heavy defeat against Celtic, uh, he questioned the manager's uh, tactics and formation and that kind of thing and he was duly sacked as well. I find it a little bit unfair that, uh, I mean I know the, the board have to kind of back the manager but Murray's an inex inexperienced manager and uh, I don't think he should have the backing of players like Kenny Miller and uh, Lee Wallace. I, I know people will say that uh, no player is bigger than the club, but these guys are experienced guys. They've, they've been so loyal to the Rangers over the years. I know obviously Kenny Miller played for Celtic, uh, but since then he has been loyal to us. He's worked ever so hard against, you know, he's played in in lower, lower leagues. Uh, as for like Lee Wallace, he pretty much gave up his international career to stay with us, and I really, really appreciate it what he's done for us and uh, I just think it's terrible the way things have happened uh, and to think that they might not even play for Rangers again is a little bit sad but uh, moving on there's another thing is the, the kit deal with Hummel I'm not too sure how I feel about that it's, it's not a great sponsor uh, I'm sure they'll make a, a fantastic kit for us but uh, I'm not too sure as long as they give us a lot of, uh, I think it's like 10 million or something. I don't know how much of that will go on, uh, onto the squad and how much of that will go upstairs to the board who are just seem like really just money grabbing, if I'm perfectly honest. Not happy with the board at all. Not just in recent weeks, in recent years, I think ever since this whole thing has happened since what, 2011, ever since all our financial problems have come to light, the board have just seeped every single penny out of us and they don't seem to have the interest of the club at heart, they just seem to want to line their own pockets and that goes for ever. Any uh, person who's been in charge, whether it's Craig White, uh, Green, Charles Green, or uh, who was it, uh, I can't remember, the, the people who had come in for the, the administration and that kind of thing, every single one of them have just bled this club dry and it needs to stop the fans are not happy I'm not happy so yeah uh, we'll move on we'll just we'll just draw a line to that just now I want to try and forget all the, the fucking troubles that have plagued us over the last week and just go for a prediction uh, the prediction is probably the hardest one I've ever made because it won't go down to form it won't go down to who's played the better football over the last couple of weeks, it's simply going to go down to which Rangers turn up. Well, we get our Rangers that we've seen the last time against Hearts, where we won 2-0, the Rangers that beat uh, Dundee 4-0, or will we get the Rangers that turned up against Kilmarnock or Celtic, who absolutely just did not have a fucking clue what they were doing. Eh... Uh, it's hard to say, and it's hard to say if Murray, eh, Murray, Marty has the backing of these players. 
I don't think he has now, and I think he probably should have resigned. Uh, and saying that, I just, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this, with this prediction. That I'm going to say that Rangers will win, and I'm going to say 1-0. I don't think it'll be a big score, and I think it'll probably be a, a poor performance again. So I'm going to go 1-0 Rangers. Uh, scorer, Murphy. Jamie Murphy, I think, will score. And... So that's it, that's my video, uh, it's just going to be a quick one tonight, uh, had a couple of drinks tonight, so cheers guys, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, give the video a like, and I'll see you later, cheers guys.